The last several months have not been the kindest to one Ellen DeGeneres. Her show came under massive scrutiny when various reports from former staff and others revealed that the Ellen DeGeneres show is not the happy-go-lucky workplace that you might expect, including various claims of racism, discrimination, and toxic behavior overall, including Ellen being part of that toxic workplace. There has been some fallout of the situation, and it's one that is ever ongoing. So allow us to break down the latest updates on it all. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. 6. I will be talking to my fans. Ellen at first kept very quiet about how she felt about her show's accusations and the various things that have been going on. But over the last month or so, she was forced to take stock of the situation and was compelled to give a heartfelt apology. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card. Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. Citing how she screwed up in not so direct terms and how things just didn't go like she wanted them to with people taking advantage of her name and word in order to get things to happen like they felt it should and not how Ellen felt it should. She later would do a Zoom call meeting with her staff and would reveal certain things as to how the show was going to change and such. But when a paparazzi person came to Ellen when she was trying to get lunch, she said something rather intriguing. I will be talking to my fans. How are you doing, Ellen? I'm great. I will be talking to my fans. That sentence may not seem like much, but it does carry a lot of weight. Because as of right now, that's something that Ellen honestly hasn't done yet. Which honestly is fine. Because in truth, there needed to be an order of events for something like this, and addressing the fans is something that she would need to do last, as they're the ones who were least affected by these various actions. Of course, how the fans respond to these allegations is a bit up in the air. If for no other reason than when it comes to celebrities and what they do wrong, fans can react very aggressively, which is what happened at certain points during this whole set of events, when they started a trend of cancel Ellen and even making suggestions as to who should replace her on the show. The other question here is how she's going to address them. Will she do it on her show? Will she go and make a public statement like she did for her cast the first go around? Or will she just release a video detailing all of her sorrows and sympathies for the situation? It's hard to say, and only time will tell what is revealed. But the the quicker she gets on this, the more likely the fans will respond favorably. Or the fans might not respond that way at all. It's honestly hard to say. Sofia Vergara A major fallout of Ellen's show getting accused of various things, including being discriminatory of other ethnicities, is that various clips from her show have been popping up, some of which don't show Ellen in the best light, because it's clear she's making fun of people's heritage or racial background. One of the ones that is definitely causing a bunch of waves is a 2015 interview she did with Modern Family star Sofia Vergara. During the interview, Ellen referenced how the two had done an ad together and that Sophia had a hard time with things because of her accent. I don't know why they give her the hardest lines too, because we have to describe what's in the cover girl makeup and she has a hard time pronouncing any of the ingredients, the generous says of Vergara. In turn, Vergara adds, I think because you are much more famous than me and older than me, so they give you priority and you read the script first and you are the one that makes me say those words. A lot of people both then and now didn't like that exchange because Ellen was essentially making fun of Sophia's accent, and that sometimes it makes us say things in a weird way, which is something that honestly happens when you go from speaking one language to another. But that's not a reason to make fun of it. However, fans disagreed. When this clip went back into circulation, if you will, they were not happy, which prompted Sophia Vergara to respond, stating, I was never a victim, guys. I was always in on the joke, which would change things in a significant way, because obviously that meant Ellen asked permission to do this joke and thus Sophia was prepared for it. But the problem is that you can't really prove that, and for some fans, it doesn't matter. You are strong and confident enough to not be a victim. However, I think laughing and mocking other people's accents without even speaking a second language is quite ignorant, and not necessarily hilarious for our Latino community, one person wrote. They raise a compelling point, don't you think? Because it's easy to make fun of something when you yourself have no issue of that kind because of how you speak. So, you tell us, was Ellen in the wrong here, or are the fans blowing this out of proportion? Four, Australian cancellation. As of right now, and we do mean right now, the Ellen DeGeneres show is not 
cancelled. Specifically, it is not cancelled in the US and in many nations abroad. However, down in Australia, they've gone and cancelled their airings of the show via their broadcast channel 9, which has been playing Ellen's show for a long time, and have replaced it with, get this, Desperate Housewives. Yeah, the Ellen DeGeneres show has been replaced by a show that is literally being cancelled for years and absolutely is the exact opposite of what Ellen's show is. Go figure. Now, as to why they went and cancelled their showings of the program is honestly a bit hard to say, but more than likely, they just decided not to show a program that enticed and allowed toxic workplace treatment of staff and others. So, in many ways, they're the first domino to fall in terms of the cancellation of Ellen should it go full tilt, which may indeed be up for happening depending on how things go in the near future. Though it should be noted that negotiations between Australia Channel 9 and Warner Bros are ongoing to get things back up for Ellen's next season, but for right now, no Ellen Down Under, which might actually have a tie to a previous incident that Ellen did when she went down under before. Because amidst all the stories of a toxic workplace environment, there were also stories about Ellen's personality and how she would impose her will onto others, including one time when she went onto the Australian Today Show and basically threw her weight around. One producer noted that her team said they couldn't talk to her or look at her in certain instances, which Ellen has denied, and yet it tracks with other things that have been said. So perhaps Australia remembered that and decided to just cut ties with her so that they wouldn't have to be associated with her anymore. People have done more for less. 3. Rosie O'Donnell Yeah, didn't expect to hear that name in this video, did you? Well, that's one of the very ironic things about this Ellen story. With it reaching certain levels of popularity and fame, it's become a topic that just about everyone needs to comment on in one form or another, which includes another talk show host in a former life, Rosie O'Donnell. You can't fake your essence, Rosie O'Donnell recently explained during an interview on Busy Phillips' podcast. That's why I have compassion for Ellen, right? I have compassion, even though, you know, I hear these stories and I understand. I think she has some social awkwardness. That last part may be the key sentence here. As Ellen noted in her talk with her staff, via the Zoom meeting mentioned earlier, that she is a shy and introverted person, and that this was part of the reason she acted in certain ways on set. We'll get to that in a sec, but Rosie wasn't done talking yet. I think that from knowing her for so many years, I have my own kind of history with her, she added, which is a line that many have used to go and defend Ellen during all of these accusations, which not so ironically raised the ire of many fans, because as they noted, the she was always nice to me argument doesn't mean that she wasn't mean to others, and that her executive producers didn't do racist jokes and discriminate against others because they felt they could. And while Rosie may have compassion for Ellen, she was right that you can't fake your essence, meaning that you can put on a happy face on camera, but when it comes right down to it, you're just putting on a mask and eventually you have to take the mask off. Which, according to another celebrity, is one that Ellen took off a lot. 2. Judy Gold Another person who weighed in on the Ellen situation is comedian Judy Gold, who also has a relationship of sorts with Ellen, but wasn't afraid to say what she had heard about the show. She told Page Six that she remembers speaking with a writer who said the happiest day of their life was when they cleaned up their desk and got a leave. I worked with DeGeneres once and she was very nice, the New Jersey native added, but I've been hearing this forever. That's not a good thing, because there was an argument to be made that the toxic environment that was on Ellen's show was recent, or in the last few years. But reports from various people say otherwise, including now Judy Gold, who has no reason to lie. She also has no reason to hold back on certain things. Look, here's the deal. Yes, there's a double standard, she continued. A woman like that is a bitch and a man like that is ambitious. Great, fine. But it's coming from multiple sources, and when your public persona is be kind to everyone and it's your show. That statement honestly lines up with various things that ex employees said in an now well-circulated BuzzFeed article in which former employees noted that Ellen may say be kind on camera, but behind the scenes, not so much. Oh, and remember the don't look at Ellen comment that the Today Show Australia producer heard? Well, Gold heard it too. That was one of the first things I ever heard, Gold exclaimed. I was like, really? Who says you can't look at me? Doesn't she say it at the end of the show? Be kind, be kind, you know, come on. Exactly. And it's kind of curious that Ellen continuously denies that don't look at me bit, and yet more more and more people are saying they heard about it. Plus, once again, Judy Gold has no reason to lie, and she even said that Ellen was nice when they worked together, so it wasn't a case of bad blood. So can Ellen really bounce back from this? 1. The Future of 
Allen. The fallout from the various accusations about Allen are still coming. We do know that three of the executive producers who were named in the aforementioned BuzzFeed article have been let go and have even been removed from other shows that they were doing from Ellen. Staff are going to get upgraded perks and benefits to combat some of the health conditions the show has been accused of, and staff will take inclusivity and sensitivity training to ensure that a toxic workplace doesn't happen again. But rumors persist of Ellen getting fired and replaced. The biggest ones that continue to circle are that James Corden is likely to replace her and be the long-term replacement as the companies running the show look to what to do next. Will this happen though? Hard to say. But the more that people talk, the more that Ellen potentially gets buried. And there you have it, a look at all the latest updates about Ellen DeGeneres and her show that may or may not get cancelled based on things that have been said about her recently. How do you think Ellen will address her fans? Will they respond to her well? Will more reports about her come out? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.